Just having a quick look over this 1985 CR250. She's not in the perfect condition but she looks generally good as they do in America she must have been sat outside people think that because they have good weather they can just leave the bikes outside and they won't come to any harm and to some point to some degree they're right uh, but the plastics and the seat covers and everything they uh, they suffer a bit and uh, some of the metal parts like the chain and the uh, the non-plated parts like the head nuts and things like that, they, they rust, but those things are easy to resolve. And the vast majority of the bike will be in generally good condition. The exhaust pipes don't generally have a hard life in America, though this one has had a few bangs and grazes. Not too bad though. Uh, it looks like someone's done a bit of work here. Uh, so the uh, the water pumps go on these this this year quite regularly. So it looks like someone's done something uh, something here, which we may well investigate shortly. And they've they've probably had some hand guards on here at some point, which is why they've got this funny bolt in here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, turn the video off for now and then I'm going to run through a few things check that it sparks check that the kill switch works I've just noticed that there isn't one uh, so I'll stick a kill switch on then I'll uh, I mean you can see I've already done this on this bike before it has got good compression uh, so with it being a two-stroke that's a, a key factor and then we'll whip the carb off, check the uh, the inlet manifold, and uh, clean the carb out, stick some fresh fuel down it, and then uh, see if it runs. I've just uh, taken the seat off. As you can see, it's quite dirty in the airbox. Uh, and what I find always with these American bikes is the the air filters are absolutely, absolutely knackered. I think the uh, the air filter oil mixed with the heat uh, just uh, disintegrates them really. So I always take those out and I always throw them away. So having had just another quick look around, I've noticed that uh, there's no rear brake pedal on the bike at all. And I noticed there was no Jubilee clips on these uh, on these hoses for the water pump. So there's no water in the radiator. It, like I say, it looks as though these are fresh gaskets. It looks like someone's done some work here. They've replaced the bolts for stainless steel bolts. And so I'm not going to start the bike because really I'm not restoring it. If it was a, a quick, easy thing to get running, then I would do, but really, that, that job is not for me, so investigating whether that water pump is corroded or what the situation is in there is not uh, not a job for me at this stage. So I'm going to uh, put this bike back together as it is and I'm going to uh, put it up for sale. Be a nice restoration project for someone. I mean, hopefully that water pump has been repaired by someone and... Uh, it doesn't need any more work doing and the rest of the engine will just need a, a service and the bike will just need going over.